spiders. Yeah, this area we're going into is full of them. Or the area that we're trying to get to anyway.
Right, let's get going. So I'll switch to the fancy new layout. And we are back in Blight Town. So I did do a bit of sneaky exploring last time. So first thing we're going to do. <gasps> trouble for love, trouble oh. for love, trouble for love, trouble for love, trouble for love. Manu, thank you for the subs. I think it cut off a bit then, I'm not sure. It might have cut off Bartz actually. Replay it. Hi oh. and thank you for the amazing streams. Trouble for love, yef, yef, yef. <laughs> there we go. Don't know why it skipped it then, it does it sometimes. Oh yeah, I have been playing out with <gasps> and Kelly as well. Yeah, I have been playing around with new layouts and things like that. I will eventually have my own properly made scenes and everything. One day, slowly. For now we will head up this way. Scam train bars. <gasps> Bart with bits as well. But yeah, the plan is to have my own full set of scenes eventually. So I've got a couple of friends who are <laughs> Did you know if you graphic yes, design and stuff yes, like that, yes, yes, and they're going to help yes, out. Yes, made of yes. <gasps> Not a yes. Thanks, Alex. And yeah, I am using the teddies. I may try and wrangle even more artwork out of you eventually. Kelly gifted us up to Dave as well. Dave will probably be asleep at the moment knowing him. To know he works Saturdays. And post office is still pretty bit busy. Trouble for love. Thanks Bart for the bits. Yeah, Dave tends to do his rounds at the post office and then sleep when he gets home. Let's kill this little fly because I hate these things. The fact that they can just phase through the floor to get to you as well. <clears throat> and a gifted sub for Truer as well. Thanks, Manu. This is the chest that I found before, and then I died going this way. If I remember right, this should be the way back to Thingy Shrine, um, Phylum Shrine. Try and keep him staggered. There we go. And more poo.
Yeah, I might have to do a bit of leveling this time, because I realised I'm still a fair bit under for actually where I'm fighting stuff. Uh, these guys aren't too much problem, but the guys a bit further on are. Oh. But we'll have even more of it there. Have you heard about our Lord and Saviour Yefkch? He is the one and only Yefkch. Oh, tell me more about this Yefkch. Sounds interesting. Here somewhere. <laughs> Your initials at the end of it. Yef is the conductor of the scam train. <sighs> oh, it's that way. Conductor of the scam train. And we got it to level two, nice. This way. Is. The back way to Filing Shrine. We should go there and say hello to people. Because a bunch of our friends will have moved there. And they might have something new to say. Heh. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, I've decided what I'm going to do with this character as well. So I'm going to go for the big heavy weapons. But seeing as I've got this helmet, I'm going to cosplay cloth. So I'm going to find some appropriate looking clothes. I might keep these for now. And I'm going to go and get the giant dragon's tooth club off Havel eventually. So we can have a big cloth and cosplay as cloth. We are back at Filing Shrine. And oh look, no trek has gone. Boy, Brina. And we've got some dingy stuff and a black eye orb. And a dead firekeeper. Have a look at this gear. Got a dingy robe. That looks alright. We've got skirt, some dingy gloves. Hi C14, thanks for the follow. So let's see who's back in filing. Your face. Oh, Kelly gifted one to Brina as well. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, do you not think he looks like Steve? I think he looks like Steve. What? Doesn't believe me. Mm, <laughs> what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about collected bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I'd never do it, 
is to kill a healthy undead <laughs> and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> but he's telling you how to make yourself human again. And the firekeeper is absent, so we can't light that bonfire anymore. <laughs> oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. Get out, Elsa, is it? Terrific to see us both. And pray that you never. Nah. Oh, well, yeah, the crestfallen guy was just telling us. What about her to make ourselves human again if we want to? Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. Oh, and, uh,. If I, I'll be pleased to assist you by saying. Oh, oh really? not allowed. Uh, uh, I'm on the fringe. Yeah, I know. I only wish that, that, that I could. Yeah, same thing as last time for him. For anybody else hiding about? <laughs> and we have snoring. Yeah, first thing to go when you get old is your memory. It goes pretty quickly. Uh, everybody got their emotes now. That's pretty cool. I've got a wizard and a ranger now. Right. So there's only those guys hanging around at the moment. And Lawtrek is buggered off somewhere. So, back down we go. We've at least unlocked the gate. This guy just lay there, relaxing, having fun. Dead. And there is a blacksmith here, if I remember right. There is. Hmm? Well, this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't pry. His voice echoes as well. I've not noticed that before. I was once an established smith. Look at me now. Can you believe it? Hmm? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself. <laughs> How about this? I could forge your weapons. Albeit with rather minimum. I'll show you what made me the best inventory. So, we can't send any weapons. This guy can reinforce stuff for us. We can reinforce armor, but almost no point in doing that. He can repair stuff for us. What does he have to sell? And he sells sorcery stuff. Because. Flinheim is where all the wizards are from. Hmm? There's nothing to talk about. We're both cursed, undead, but goodbye then. But yeah, Vinheim is where all the sorcerers are from, or a lot of them are from. They have the Vinheim School of Sorcery. Uh, the other guy we saw is from there. I can stab with this sword. Like that. 
But yeah, I am sticking with big sword for now. Then I will get a bigger sword. And then when I get round to it, I will get the big club as well. Then we can do a proper cloth cosplay. These guys take out again. They're just like shouting at us. Big smashy sword. And more poop. Shut up already, will you? And he's just shouting again. There. Or poo. Just what we needed. <laughs> no chance. No chance of being a mod. Nah, I just picked people who mainly knew what all the tools and stuff did. Right, we are back in Blighttown. Time to head down all the ladders again. Yeah, I do. Absolutely hate you. And yeah, merely touching that bonfire up there caused this lot to respawn. Didn't even have to sit at it. But yeah, you just saw that one there phase, phase up through the floor. <laughs> yeah, Alex is the sister now. Ah, that's how you slide down. I kept avoiding doing it because the button for sliding down in Dark Souls 1 is the button for jumping off in Dark Souls 2. Alex has been braiding. I've been dating Brina longer than you have. Okay, hey, good Dave. I'm uh, gonna level up a little bit and then put no stupid flies again. There it is. Level up a little bit and then we are going to have a few more bashes at Quelag. Or Quelag. Still don't know how you're supposed to say it. was the way down over here? Was it literally just off this bit? We shall see. Doubt we've got enough to level up. Does it tell us on this bit? Uh, souls. No, it doesn't. I have to check at the bonfire itself. The 
doubt we've got enough. I think we need like 6,000 or something. 7,000. Do I have any souls I could burn? I know I just picked one up. Nameless soldier is... Bring us up to 5,000 odd. Box. I'm gonna grab one of these because I want to send this bonfire. There we go. Hi, whiskey. Oh, that's plenty. So we shall get more strength. Then we shall use this. We shall reverse hollowing and then we shall kindle bon the bonfire. Uh, pretty much. I don't know his leg there. Pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Broken his leg. So yeah, we, we've not been going that long, Whiskey. I've just unlocked the back door to Blight Town. Got back there and found out that Law Trekkers killed the Firekeeper. But I've come back down here to fight some more stuff and go and have another, another go at the uh, the boss eventually. Get fire bombs out. Don't need you. Go in there. So I'm just seeing if I can get some levels and stuff before I go in. Good old fashioned using them one at once. I was so glad when they changed that in Dark Souls 2. You could just stick them in your inventory and. Three hundred. Stick them in your inventory and just bash a lot of them out at once. Strength up to 23. But I'll get all three of those up to 25, so vitality, endurance, and strength if I can. But this time we need to get it I'm not going to be just short. I am like a hundred short.
Oh yeah, that was Mildred, who is an NPC invasion. I actually forgot they were a thing, and yeah, um, Mildred is in every game. Like, there is a version of Mildred in every Dark Souls game. But because we've killed her here, we get her weapon and everything. humanity out of it as well which always comes in handy. That is what I was going to change. Uh, yeah some of the NPCs as well when you beat them they become available as summons help with bosses but if I remember right if I because I've killed her now she should show her summon sign next to the boss but it'll show summon signs anyway because I'm human but if you defeat her there she is there's Mildred Wearing the same sexy helmet we are. Anyway, we'll give the boss a bash. Top up a bit first. Oh, souls. A lot of souls. That's like another couple of levels there at least. Unlock. That was my problem last time. Need to avoid that stab. Dead. Tell you what, I'm gonna be naughty. I'm gonna steal a couple of extra levels if I can. So, let's put this on. The old dick twister. Uh, this is Hollow Knight Wayne. You not see. So I'm going to try and cheat the boss this time, not to fight it, but I'm going to run away with my run away with my salt. Or we'll try to. It just depends how quickly I can get to them. And yeah, this is a dong area. Uh -oh. Boy, 
you. Grab this. Let Crutch do another move. Run away. <laughs> there we go. I successfully ran away with more souls. Strength up to 25 and put some health up as well. Sorted. Now I will be not not as bothered if I die a bunch of times fighting this boss. Gifting Wayne subs to Hollow Knight to debate him. Right. Yeah, it will have been Grey's channel yesterday, wasn't it? She beat Sherry to the hundred and twelve percent. Come on, treble guitar, it's just a tiny PP spider. Oh, we're gonna have to send you back to school, Sherry. It's a no PP spider. It is fun, Dave. I am enjoying it. I am doing like the completionist bit of it at the moment, getting a lot of stabs. But 112% is full completion of the game. There we go. I avoided it that time. Where are you going? Um, she's just swinging her sword a bit more. Thanks for the subway. Watch for them doing the big explosion. Try doing the stab. Stop jumping. Ah, this pool's gone. Got a bit of room to move. Stupid idea. Heal a bit while it's spewing lava everywhere. Just stop it. Let me get close enough to hit. Thank you. 
bomb. No. No. Yeah, I probably would have done much better if I hadn't have had to run in that big circle to get around behind her again. I got a bit trapped that time. Get off. Yeah, I'm playing Hollow Knight off screen because not off stream I've been streaming it a bunch in discord if people want to watch it but most of it is just me dicking around and exploring but I do still have pantheons to do I've got some of the dream bosses to do and I've got Flies almost caught up to me that time. But yeah, I am on 100% in Hollow Knight at the moment, just another 12% to go. everywhere again. I've got nowhere to move. Maybe I'll grab this while I'm running around in circles. There, there's one of them cleared. Get you eventually. And then she slashed it. I just didn't get her far enough away for the explosion.
No, this is just what it is, Kelly. There are no difficulty choices. Yeah, standard consumption is bad in Dark Souls 1, Dave. Until you can get something like the... the Chloranthi Ring. To, like, give you more stamina constantly, or... There's a shield that does it as well, that regens your stamina faster. Until you can get either of those, your stamina st consumption is shit. It's why there are such popular items with people. Right. Explosion. Come on, come this way a bit. Give me some room to actually fight you. Missed me then. There we go. Two rolls to get out of the explosion. So if I'm stood at the corner of his head. There you go. She's doing the explosion again. Explosion this time. Ow. That's a double chug. get a hit hit in I don't mind. Explosion.
Yeah, Havel's ring is in this. Can't remember where it is. What it is. There's only another hit or two away as well, I'm sure of it. I don't do I? Right. Let's do it. Explosion. Fucking lava everywhere. Get into the neck. Explosion again. Safe, go for the net. Gotcha. Bitch. Did it. Soul of Quay, however you want to say it. Dead. 
and 20,000 souls to level up a bit. Oh yeah, there'll be a couple over here as well, won't there? So yeah, it seems like the neck bit over, of the spider bit anyway, is like a safe spot when she's doing her sword swings. It goes right over your head. But you have to be right into it, like if you're a little bit off, she still clips you. Did it. So, there is a bonfire near here, I'm sure of it. Oh yeah, this is the other bell. Dong! Oh, there is somewhere we will get to eventually. And I got a free homeward bone for that. So where is this bloody bonfire? We've got all that to explore first. Yeah, Sen's Fortress. I actually quite like Sen's Fortress. I know loads of people hate it. Look at this one. Handily posted notes. Yes. Ta-da! Now we got this guy. Oh dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? I'm gonna say yes. Mm. But you have no eggs. Ha, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. And yeah, Dave knows about Tarkus. I will be trying for the Tarkus kill on that one. I know it's cheesy, but I want to do it. So, we have bonfire. We will repair our stuff and we will level up some more. But more stamina. There. And then, on this box. Don't need you anymore. We will get back our... Why is it all this stuff? It's the one thing I don't like, is when it auto equips stuff. I hate that in games. Especially if it's like a... Like a quick use menu, like this one is. I'll keep the fire bombs, because I like fire bombs. Put those in the bag because I'm not allowed to use them because they're magic. Put you in the box. Put you in the box. Well, I can go in the box. Got all these shards we've got. I miss it sometimes as well, Dave, but. It was more hassle than it was worth. And I'm used to this now. So, the thing that we were going to show you, and the reason this stream is titled like it is, is to make sure I've got the right thing equipped first. Yes. Look! Another booby spider. 
Although this one is mainly stuck in the wall. This one is a fire keeper. Or she will let us reinforce our Estus flask. Quailag, my dear sister, the eggs, it hurts. They've gone still. I am afraid it may be too late. I am so sorry, dear sister. Again, of course. Let me try. Yes, we shall join. And you get free spells. Offer her humanity, which we will do eventually. Do be safe. But for now, I need to get this back out the box because I was dumb. There. Oh my dear sister, don't mind me. But yeah, she is actually blind. You can just see on her eyes there. And Goodbye, Quaid Juby. Yeah, Quellag is her actual sister. They're called like the daughters of Chaos or something like that. Then we've got this big wall. Which does nothing at the moment. But yeah, normally you can't tell what she says. Uh, it is this ring that I've got on. An old ring with no no use. A ring from an old witch engraved minutely with an indecipherable script but seemingly useless. This is what allows us to talk to her. Or at least her to understand us and us to understand her. Normally it's just nothing. And because we can talk to her and, she, and understand her, she thinks we're her sister. Which is why. What is it? Why she calls us Quailag. Goodbye, Quailag. Do be safe. And yeah, she's sort of stuck in the wall. It's implied that she's the one that's been laying all the eggs everywhere. Now we've got this dude. You speak the tongue of the fair lady? Do not be rash with your pride. You have yet to earn my trust. Guy with eggs on his back. If you find funny with the fair lady, there will be hell to pay. And this guy sells stuff. He sells servant roster, which tells you basically the rankings of the people in the covenant. Don't have any weapons for ascension. There is no time for idle chat. Think only of our fair lady and what she may need. Yeah, there's barks everywhere. Look at them just hundreds of barks just stuck to the walls. Now we have this lift. It does not go anywhere at the moment. But we also have Hole in the wall, this side. We head further down. And further down. And we get this place. Demon ruins. And you can see around there it is actually ruins. 
This place used to be like a massive sprawling city. And now it is just all kinds of messed up. We have these guys. Who are all praying. See I'm praying down there. Well there is a fog gate and a bridge across to it. And an ominous tentacles in the distance. First, we have some exploring to do. But now we have these guys who are actually coming after us. You can see the worms in these ones are much, much slower than they were out the front of quail eggs, although they do get close enough. They get quite nasty, which is the reason I brought these. There. That's how you deal with those things. That's what I was forgetting these last time. For winning, Greg. You missed me fighting the booby lady. I'm talking to the other booby lady. There, dealt with. But yeah, that's how you fight those worms. Stock up on shit tons of fire bombs. You can do it with throwing knives as well, but throwing knives takes forever. Thought he was going after me then. So you've got this path over here, leads to the fog gate. You've got this bit that leads down to the lava. Yep, it is a two hander. Too big a grip for just one hand. Not everybody can handle it with two hands. Oh yeah, this is all lava, with ominous shapes in it over there. Beg the groomer. So yeah, we have uh, no way of getting across that lava yet. So, we shall head over this way to the great big bridge. If you listen very carefully, you can hear singing. But yeah, this place is just filled with lava all over. But what I will do before I go through this big suspicion go looking gate is I am going to nip to the loo and grab a drink something to eat but I will be back in a couple of minutes
Hello. Oh, Bart's been saving up a bit. So the stupid long Welsh town is called Llanfaia Pochwyn Gichogerchwyn Drobo Llantisilio Gogogoch That's Llanfaia Pochwyn Gichogerchwyn Drobo Llantisilio Gogogoch The last time the town is called Llanfaia Pochwyn Gichogerchwyn Drobo Llantisilio Gogogoch There you go So I have grabbed a drink I have grabbed Something to scoff And now we're going to go through this door But yeah, if any of you actually want to learn to say the name of that sound There is a song that teaches you Slovia push quingil go gera quern drobal schlanter sealy a go pagoke. Yeah, Welsh. I think Welsh breaks Brian. Just doesn't work anymore. So, we will go head up this way. Brian the text-to-speech man does well. And there are ominous tentacles. And if you can just see on the what would be his left shoulder on our right side, that way, you can see his face as well. This poor guy is the brother of the two spider ladies we've just seen. So they got to be booby spiders, he got to be this. And I'm probably going to die a lot here because I honestly can't remember how I'm supposed to fight him. Look at him. He looks so sad. Oh, well, let's just go right up to him. But yeah, that bit in front of us there is his face. And he has all these big... They're not really tentacles, they're like giant spider webs really. Or spider legs, I should say. So we will head over this way. I will try and work it out a couple of times, Dave. Well, I know how the fight starts, because I remember now. This guy also has a wonderful name. Look, he's got horns. If I just hit his arms, I do. There. I should be using heavy attacks. This might take us a while. Oh yeah, I remember about to one-shot him. I'm just avoiding the one-shots if I can. Got to roll there. Right, I know you can make him jump and knock him off. Slap. Yeah, I got slapped then. Hi, Beth. Just in case you missed it, Beth, but there is a second booby spider, which is this one here. She's also blind. I also can't remember what that woman's name is. I think it's... It, they all begin with Quay, and it's like Quellana or something like that. Anyway, back to Ceaseless Discharge. The boss with the prettiest name. Mm. 
Oh yeah, there's a bonfire here as well. Let's sit at the bonfire slightly closer. Oh yeah, you can see him just over the corner there being all agitated. Yeah, there is a way to fight him. I think it is literally just wearing him down, like dodging his arms constantly. But yeah, you can see that cliff that goes down there. The way you can one-shot him is you lead him over this way and he reaches for you. And then you smack him in the arm a few times and he falls all the way down and dies. But this boss is the blocker for this area. You have to kill this guy to be able to get to the next bit. But yeah, you can see him heading over this way. And what you would normally do is you take him all the way to the edge of the lava. And then... Oh, his arms are melded to his body. I've not noticed that before. But yeah, you would take him all the way over to where the fog door is. And then... He reaches for... Yeah. Kind of like he has done there. You smack him in the, the arm a couple of times and he slips and falls down. But I'm going to try and close it. Whoa! Yeah, it's a breath attack. I'm going to attempt to fight him properly. So draw him back over this way. Come on. Over here. Here he comes. Get back in your spot. Oof. That must have been the attack he did before. I thought you had to kill him to harden the lava. Ow. I'm going to try and kill him anyway. Tell you what, this thing has decent fire resistance from what I remember. Flame 166, yeah. So we'll put it on for now, just so we can be a bit more fire resistant. still okay.
but step one is leg it all the way back to the other side to get him to go that way. But yeah, I am stubbornly going to fight all these bosses properly if I can. The only one I'm going to make an exception with is with the, the Iron Giant, just to show how good Tarkas is. Because lots of people don't get to see Tarkas, and they should. I could be wrong Dave, it's been like seven years since I last played this game. Come on. Dodge earlier. Or oh, just dodge. I also just remembered why we uh, we use the other bonfire. Because the other bonfire has been enkindled. And gives us ten Estus instead of five. I'm going to sit at this one again. <laughs> could be Dave, could be I'm remembering it wrong as well. Like, I completely misremembered the shortcut to the bonfire in the depths. You know, where you go and fight the gaping dragon, because I remembered it being an invis like a, an illusory wall that leads to it. And it wasn't, it was literally just a door behind me that I didn't see. But yeah, my memory of the game isn't that good either. <laughs> I've even watched some people play it recently as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to kill him because all this lava is like coming from him hence the name Cecil's Discharge and if we kill him like a load of it hardens up which means we can then get across to where the little Capra guy is down there It'll be even worse when I play Dark Souls 2, because Dark Souls 2, like, I remember nothing of. I did most of that in a daze. So, leave me alone. Oh my god, this way.
I remember right, these clothes were wearing as well, or his sister's clothes. Like another sister's. Right. Come on, do your smashy thing. comes down way faster than I thought it did. He seems to moan each time as well. I wonder if it's easier to just listen to the moan. again maybe this one. Still not sure on the timing on how to dodge this big one. Almost cut him halfway. Maybe I just need to sprint on those ones. Like his regular swings, I need to dodge the moment he starts his, his moan. Like the moment he goes, Whoa, I start rolling. And that gets me far enough away. But for his big fiery one, I'm not sure. I'm thinking if I just save stamina and sprint because the jump doesn't take me far enough but you also get a lot less iframes on a jump during the roll I think it's the entire time your feet are off the, uh, the entire time your feet are off the floor or the entire time you're off the floor yeah, it's the entire time you're off the floor you have iframes. While for a jump it's just at the end of the jump, but it gives you extra distance. I'm thinking for his big fiery one, I might just try sprinting. See if the sprint takes me far enough away. run back this way first but well, got him halfway at that time which wasn't bad just need to work out what to do with the big fiery arm
run back this way. Listen for the moan. The moment he starts moaning, the regular arm just roll. The big fiery arm, I still don't know. Hi, Grey. I am currently failing at learning learning how to hit this boss. And hi, everybody who came in the raid. Stop. Rolling through it doesn't work. Yeah, I'm just going to stand still. And sprint! And then he gets me on the second swing. <laughs> Tiny baby raid. I'm not really struck. I am just working out how to do how to dodge the fiery fist attack. Right, the regular one I've worked out. It's just when he does the big Pulls out the lava arm and does it. Like, I dodged the first hit of it that time just by sprinting. It was the second hit that got me. Maybe I'll just try more of the stamina and just run the entire way. I still do the cheese, I just don't want to do the cheese. I want to actually fight him. Yeah, Grey, I was saying there's like, there's a cheese where you lead him all the way over there and then hit his arm and he falls down. And then there's actually fighting him, which I'm trying to do. I'll come back this way. So that was too late at that time. For those ones, I need to roll as soon as he does them on. This one. Second hit still got me. But yeah, it's uh it's not really a cheese because he has a proper cling animation and everything for it. But I want to actually fight him. I have done the 
grip and fall off method before. Same with Taurus Demon at the start. Taurus Demon you can just climb up the ladder and plunge attack him over and over. But I want to try actually fighting him. I am slowly catching up on Hollow Knight as well, Grey. I am currently on 100%. Oh, yeah, Sherry, you can wait till after the boss fight. After I die, I will do some origami for you. Sound cue. Yeah, they're intended methods, but it's just a cheap and easy way to do the boss. Like I want to do the the long fight methods when I can. Same with Tarkus. Tarkus is intended because it's got right. Sprint this way. One hit. Still gets me. That one I can dodge because of the sound skew. <sighs> Try sprinting. Yeah. Too late. But yeah, if anybody has an idea of how to dodge the big fiery arm, feel free to tell me, because I'm struggling to work it out. I can avoid the first hit just by sprinting. Second hit always gets me. Oh yeah. Cherry's Redemption. Almost forgot. Oh, the one that I run round to get there. I might have enough time for it. Right, anyway. Paper, paper, paper. Make a bit of room. And adjust the camera so you can see. The late dodge works with the uh, so the first swing that he does, just sprinting avoided that, it's the second swing that keeps hitting me. So. Pew. There we go. Origami paper, I'm going to start 
I'm going to make a simple crane. Because the crane is the basic for pretty much anything. So you pretty much always start with a square piece of paper. The regular attack can dodge just fine, Dave. It's got an audio cue for it. Like at the beginning of his moan, because it's slightly higher pitched. I can just dodge then. And by the time his arm comes down, I'm out of the way. So we do straights first, then diagonals. Make sure I get the corners right. It's one diagonal done. Anybody who comes into the screen at stream at this point is going to be really confused. This looks nothing like Dark Souls. So, diagonals to diagonals. I've just been handed uh, an important note, just in case anybody needs to read it. So, we've got the straight folds, the top and bottom side to side, we've got the diagonal folds. This now collapses down, collapses into what's known as the square base. Go for it Sherry. From square base, you can see sort of see how that is now. Let's collapse down. We fold inwards again along those lines. That gets us. To a small kite like shape. You fold those edges in and you get the little kite like shape like that. From this we do something a bit more complicated. So those pop out again and that fold that I've just done there we fold upwards along that. That gets you kind of a pocket shape and you fold these bits back in. And this bit can be a bit awkward. But you fold it in, fold the edge again, and you get that. So that bit has been folded inside where it used to be. So once you've done that, it's like this. So same again. You've got these two bits that have been folded in. You unfold them. That horizontal line there, you fold up along that. And then you fold the edges into the centre. You are already cross-eyed. So they've folded into the centre, redo the creases, so then you get a little kite shape that folds up either side. 
we're going to fold those up and you can see we get this nice diamond shape now but with the edges folded towards the center there this is known as the bird base because from this is what you make all the birds from or most of them yeah you can see my tattoo it is a nerdy tattoo I've posted it on the Discord before as well. So what we do with this bit, you can see the foot, the top bit is a triangle, and this bit is split. So the split bits, we are going to fold towards the centre. So we line up the outer edge with the middle like this. And create a cru new crease half the size of it, like that. So we folded it in towards the centre and then do the same on the other side. So now this side looks like this. Two edges folded in. the same on the back and you end up with this shape you can see it goes now it goes thinner because we folded these edges in here now it goes thinner towards the bottom and this is still the split bit so what happens with these is these bits get folded upwards to form the tail and the head of the crane. Easiest way to do that is to actually do what's called a pre-fold. So fold this bit up here, kind of at the angle that you want it. And then you open this bit slightly and you fold it upwards. And where you folded it previously, it will automatically create a bend. And you basically want to be turning that bottom part, the split part, inside out. And you get this. So you do the same on the other side. You fold it up to create the pre-crease. The pre -crease. Fold it back down. Open it up. Lift that bit up and turn that bit inside out. then you get this shape. So this is the crane almost done. What we do now is we fold down another bit here to form the head. There is the head of the crane and then you just fold down the wings. There you go. There is an origami crane for Sherry. And if you want to display it anywhere, these bottom parts do fold open. And you can sort of pry them open a little bit, place it on a flat surface. You can also to give it a bit more depth so you can see that point there that point actually pulls out if you want to and that will keep the crane's wings flat as well tend to do that if you're going to string them up because you can put the string down through that bit so there is your crane And now I shall go back to dying against this boss in Dark Souls. Just need to fix the camera. There. Well, this crane... Uh, yeah, we'll call it Sherry. This is Sherry the Crane. Oh, 
back to getting beat up by this boss and trying to work out how to dodge him. <laughs> Next time I will do try and do something a bit more complicated, like a frog or something. Yeah, I'll let Kelly come on stream just to crush it. That's what we'll do for the finale. So, back this way back to getting punched in the face again. So... Run this way. He moans, so we roll. I think you might be right, Sherry, about running behind this rock to dodge it. Or trying to anyway. Just gonna make him come come back this way. So I'm gonna leg it behind there when he pulls the big fist out. Or at least try to. That one I'm fine with now. The other one that's the problem. So you're right. And I have that one to dodge somehow. know what to do about get the, the big arm now. Yeah, I'm dodging too early on those that time and it's clipping me on the way down. So I had it down last time. When his big arm comes out, I just leg it to the rock. And I'm not what, sure what to do about the one where he does the big fiery thrust.
Come buddy, come back this way. Big sweep, isn't it? Oh no. See, that felt too late. Oh Dave, you were right about this being an optional boss as well, I've just remembered. There is a way past it, but you've got to farm humanity to do it. Because you can unlock the shortcut. Bye Bruno! I am getting my ass beat by this giant boss. sideways for the first one. Still don't know how to deal with that thrust. So yeah, for the big arm it's run sideways. I wonder if I could just fight him further away. That happens when you get old, Brina. 
Gotta be careful of spicy food. You're not streaming, Bruno. I might go on a bit longer then. Find someone to raid after as well. Yeah, I was like that yesterday. I was that dead after work. I literally just flopped and I slept through almost all of your stream. Oh, he's only done one this time. I'm going to extend it a bit. What I'm going to do is I'll give this guy a couple more bashes. Oh, that. Yeah, that's not normal. I'm oh, sorry, Brina, but peas and beans on the same, same meal is, is just weird. not right. In fact, I know what we can do for this. We shall let chat decide. There you go. Everybody vote. Everybody vote on whether Brina is a weirdo or not.
There you go, Brina, the people have spoken. Four to one. It's not normal. By whey protein milkshakes, Brina. Like all the other muscle men. Yeah, that one still reached me. Where are you going? as if I'm too far away. I think. Go on. Stop shuffling. Yeah, I think when he does the big fiery one. I've got to only do one hit and then run back in. There we go, so he does two punches. head back in so I'm not too far away. Smack the cum beast. Got him. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Sherry, you've never played Demon Souls, have you? Have you watched any Let's Plays or anything of it? So... You know how you have different things you can apply to weapons? So like in Dark Souls you've got Gold Pine Resin that does lightning to your weapon and stuff. So in Demon Souls, I know this because somebody mentioned it, there are all kinds of different items, they're not like pine resins or anything like that. And the one that applies magic damage to your weapon is called sticky white stuff. And it is a glob of sticky white stuff that you rub all over your weapon. <laughs> Yeah, I have it. I am going to do the entire series, like Dark Souls 1, 2 and 3, Demon Souls and Bloodborne. What I need to do is get, well, I say working PS4, I'm going to get a PS5. So I'll do Dark Souls 1, 2 and 3, because I've got all of those on my Xbox. And then eventually... When I get a PS5, I will do Demon Souls and I will also do Bloodborne. The Dark Souls 1, 2 and 3 have the stipulations. So Dark Souls 1 is no magic of any kind. See, I'm not even allowed to use Pine Resins. Which was the main thing. I was going to use some Golden Pine Resin against Quelag, but... It's not dead, Kelly. It works very badly. So like you could play simple enough games on it, but more complicated games, it still chugs. And it still sounds like a jet engine, so there's no way I'd be able to have it on my desk. Like, hooked up to my capture card. Get some levels, shall we? Get our level. So at 9,500, we need 10,800 for a level. Did I pick up any souls? I don't think I did. Well, I've somehow got, still got a dung pie in my inventory as well. So. Stop putting stuff on my equip menu. And now I can use those for healing, but I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, despite the fact that you get, like, the entire... PlayStation Plus back catalogue on the PS5, Brina would complain. Oh, wrong button. Rest at the bonfire. Repair the weapon. And then put our real claws back on. Wanderers, brigands, sorcerers. And I am sorry if this is boring, but inventory management is like a compulsion for me. Not like Brina, who's Warcraft inventory looks like somebody shat on his screen. Like, it makes me cringe whenever I see that. Mm. 
there. They might be organised, Brina, but they still look a mess. My my bags on Warcraft are nearly empty. I've got my hearthstones. I've got a couple of other transport items like the the guild cloak thing and the ring that takes you to Dalaran. I've got raiding supplies. So a couple of potions, a couple of flasks and stuff. And I've got some pet stuff like bandages and the pet, pet biscuits that make your pet massive. Oh, is it not the entire catalogue? I thought they got the entire thing. But all the lava has now hardened. And you can see over there, lots and lots of the first boss. Them dudes is Taurus demons. Over there is a Capra demon, so any easy items I can get to first. Oh, so not the entire catalogue. I thought they got the entire catalogue of games for the PS5. Or the entire back catalogue of PS Plus games, like PlayStation 4 ones. Well, Capra is over here. He's spotted us as well. He's not a boss one, so I can stagger him. So fuck this Capra demon. Now we've got these guys to contend with. But yeah, when I do eventually get a PS5, I will be doing Bloodborne and I will be doing Demon Souls. Right, first one has aggroed. Stop doing the quick turn. Oh, staggered him as well. Did not expect to be able to stagger these guys. around again. Okay. Get staggered. Bugger dodging it. As long as I can land a hit, I can stagger him. So that's what I'll do. Now we walk forward slowly until the second one aggroes. Is. He's spotted us. Stop quick turning. Oh, yeah, it's the added poise from my ring. That's what I'll be doing it. One of the first things I grabbed early in the game. Ring of the Evil Eye. 
I love that thing. Just hit stuff until you're better again. Oh, I've got both of them. This could be a bit more awkward. Wasn't supposed to swing my weapon then. I'm dead. Technically I'm here a bit too early but bugger it, I've come this way so this is the way I'm going. My first playthrough Sherry, I went through all the skeletons down that way and I really struggled doing that. Uh, can you imagine the first enemies you're going up against before even doing Undead Berg when the Drake and the Taurus and everything demon is running down that way? No. Those other two permanently dead. Were the Taurus demons permadeath? Yeah, that's what I did on my first playthrough, Sherry, and I really struggled. I was nowhere near that. Right, let's get Capra, because he's going to spot us. He's got a pretty big aggro range. slightly staggered this way. If I go across this bit maybe I can just catch the front one. There. I might not be able to, but I'm still going to kill these guys. Because souls... Because there's, what, another... four of them there? Another 4k souls? Maybe a bit more. They were 1,000 in a bit, weren't they? Where are you going? Badly timed. Yeah, 1,200 souls for one of them. But he's slightly ahead of the other one, so... Go all the way around. Do this tactically.
this is also something that's quite quite common in Souls games, where something you fight as a boss early on becomes like a regular enemy later in the game. Stagger. Yeah, it is on lava over there. Manu doing the good work. Well, it's been a while since I've seen one of those bots, you know. Oh yeah, the tourist demons are perma-dead. That makes it easier. to me. Look this way. Now do you jumpy attack? And get staggered. Oh, missed. I think the one on the left is slightly further forwards. He twitched. Bit you in the butt. Very common tactic in Souls as well. If you ever stuck on a humanoid looking boss and you want somewhere vaguely safe, try and get my on the boss's arse. Just this one left. I think you're right, Sherry. It looks like all the items over here are on lava, but I got a decent amount of souls out of it, so... demon's dead. Well that one we can't get to because lava. That one we also can't get to because lava. Is there anything else useful around here? Doesn't look like it. Unless. No, nope. no hidden walls. So we will continue on past where Capra Demon was. 
all the way back this way. for this and the other one later. So there's Capra back again. Come on boy. This way. Now beyond this bit my mind whoops my mind is currently blank. I have no idea what's waiting ahead of me here. Oh there's the little fiery guys that Div loves so much. And lots of Capra demons. Now can I draw these out one by one? Like I did the others. Come on, you've looked at us. Just move. Now both of them are looking at me. Why aren't you moving? Maybe they just want to fight honourably. One. How nice of them. Now let's trigger this one. I already flinched a couple of times. Three of them. <gasps> Come on. There. Do the slow badass walk. I did not mean to do that, but he's dead. Now, who's next? Who on the left? There. It looks like they've got two aggro ranges. One where they notice you and one where they actually come to attack.
No. Fucker. Got all that way. Why did I rest at that one? <clears throat> yeah, if only somebody had got me a coffee, my reactions might have been a bit quicker. Then I just flown past them all. Brina, you're a noob. <laughs> yeah, Kelly has given me coffee cake bombers. We're never nice. To killing them in order again. So they notice me if I run forwards. I've just got to edge forwards a bit until he actually comes to fight me. I do wish I could get their heads or something as armour. Like there's certain other enemies that you can get parts of them. Like most of the bigger humanoid enemies you can get their armour and stuff. I don't think you can get anything of these guys.
get him on the recovery. this way. So, anything over here? Nope, apart from a pretty view. What's over this way? We get a totally not suspicious looking statue. They've loved these things. He died to them so many times. Uh -oh. That one spotted me. The Taurus there, the Capra on the right, two more statues. And whatever that ugly thing is sticking out the wall. Old Iron King is Dark Souls 2. Oh shit. Oh, can't hit it. Oh, it's a dead one. Petrified or something. Yeah, Old Iron King was Dark Souls 2, was one of the DLCs as well, if I remember right. DLC. I know there was that big keep in Dark Souls 2 that was filled with lava and stuff. Sink. But first of all, you are just a statue. Ah. That hurt. I don't even know if I'm hurting it. Well, I am, just not much. It's on about half. A war of attrition. Will he run out of health or will I run out of Vestas? Bonfire. Yeah, just what I needed. Oh, that's a big dead one. We've got a soul of a proud knight. Can't see anything else down there. 
Or is that even the boss that we fight later? Could be. You got Taurus, Capra. Doesn't look like there's anything else over that way. And the wall has magically healed. Prepare. And then can't reinforce, so we will level up. And we will get some health. Wait, how much do we need for another level up? Need another three, four thousand. Two of these petty little fire dudes. You, Mr. Statue Man, where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. There. Give me that money for leveling. Thank you. Portal playing the first one. How is he finding it? Little statues. Oh, just clicked in. Well, that was a hole for a second. Well, there's another Taurus demon on our left. Forest even there, this one guy comes running now. Same tactic as upstairs, just try to stagger him over and over. And try not to fall in the hole. Oh well, we're only here. Not as if we got far to go. Mr. Taurus will come running pretty much as soon as this one dies. There we go.
Why are you not scouting as much as the other ones did? You're beefier or something. Yeah, no, I'm dead now. No, same amount of souls. Weird. We got Capra on the right. Got another two Taurus on the left. Got that way first then. Oh, and a worm. Screw that guy. Oh, Mr. Capra. Oh, Mr. Capra, Mr. Taurus Demon. We both missed each other. That's that one dealt with. Got another one. All the way along here. I really don't want to fight him on here. Make rolling really awkward. Now, do these ones stay dead like the ones on top or no? No, they don't. Rubbish. These ones take two hits to stagger. Or seem to at least. Oh no. Something to do with the animation maybe?
the Taurus demons here are just tougher, which is why they're not staggering as easily. But I can still get them in as many hits as just kind of rely on the stagger. This one. Yeah, they're slightly tougher than the ones at the top. No! Cunt. <laughs> These guys are more of a pain than I remember them being. Right, statues, not so bad. Actual Taurus demons. But I can actually stagger them as well, it just seems to be I've got to catch them in the right part of their animation or something. Big boy. That hit staggers. That hit staggers. That hit staggers. I wonder if I can just kite this guy to the stairs. Will he follow me that far? Come on. Only a little bit further. What if I give you some encouragement? You follow me now? Oh. You're right, Dave. I still can't play VR. I have tried it a couple of times since I tried it at yours, Dave. And anything that involves actually moving around the world, like that Resident Evil one, just gives me motion sickness. 
like keep talking nobody explodes and that puzzle one we looked at at yours as well they're all right but anything that actually involves moving around the world properly just gives me motion sickness Oh, there's more of those worms. Right. Half a demon dead. The worm face. What about light attacks? Oh, fuck. Grab attack. Me dead. Dealing with one. We'll grab some ranged. I know I've not got much, but <laughs> I've just had a great idea to deal with these ones. That was a giant ass ugly worm. Taurus man. That's if his AI can work out the stairs. gave me his axe. I now have two of those. Now we have this one. Yeah, they're an absolute pain. I've got an idea of what to do with these worms though. As long as they're susceptible to it. There we go, that is my problem. 
they don't stagger on the second hit, I do not have stamina to escape. So, we shall play it safe. Morgan, thanks for following. Ow. Let me past you, please. He was going to jump off then. And um, thanks, Matt. You're about to watch me get my ass handed me to me by a worm falling out of the ceiling. Grab this. Now, the plan. It's poisoned. Now how long will this poison last for? Let's fuck fighting these guys. Green Titanite shot as well. Now, yeah, are there any more of them? Yep. Yeah. Whoa! Throwing shit at them. <laughs> it is the perfect strategy. Only I was doing a magic build, those Titanite shards would actually be useful. Oh, I have toxic and nothing to cure it with.
on. You can't parry them, Matt. The only things you can parry are humanoid enemies. safe one or not. Can't tell because the chain's underneath. So nice right, safe. Large flame ember. That'll be for the fiery weapons and shit. Now can I get back to the bonfire before this toxic kills me? I might be able to. I don't think I do. No, just for poison. Right. Now to explore the Capra Demon bit on the right. Just killing all these again. Is there anything else in between? See what you can have dumb pies as well. But Capra is in this direction, in a suspiciously open area. Come on. That's why. No, there's a fair bit to go to. And the actual last boss of the game. We've got loads to do for that. And the last boss of this area, I think we're about halfway there. Because there's a boss through that door, and then a bunch of other stuff. But we'll give this boss a bash before 
ahead of because I was planning on finishing at nine. You still going? Bye. That weren't dead. Anything on this side? Oh, nothing here. Well, I think it's demon fire sage through this door. Ah, the worm deserved it. The worm is an arsehole. And I remember almost nothing about demon fire sage other than his name and that he is yet another boss that does explosions. Sealed but Boo. So I can't even do that boss. Back we go. I did not expect that. I do not remember the bosses being blocked off like that. In fact, the only place I remember seeing that sealed by power is... Oh yeah, these Capras are back, aren't they? Like it. The only place I ever remember seeing sealed off is the archives. Naked run! Here was me thinking I'd be going all the way to the Lord at the end of this. He's still following me, he is. So I suppose this means we're going all the way back to Firelink and then all the way through the forest or whatever. You hear these guys praying again. So, we're not making it any further through the demon ruins until I've triggered something else. Just can't remember what that something else is supposed to be. Puts my hand back on. I need some more regular Titanite shards as well to upgrade my weapon. I will find some of those at some point. Demon's Great Axe go in there. Oh, I've got Dragon King Great Axe, so I've got one of each. Right. And further up we go. At least I've got the shortcut back to Firelink now. Oh, I should probably level up while I'm at a safe bonfire. I am keeping with Big Sword. 
The one that I will swap out to if or when I can use it. I'm only 200 away, may as well use that soul that I picked up. Yeah, in keeping with big sword, I will get even bigger sword when I can. Uh, when I have the stats for it, I will swap it out for big, big curved club. Just so I can actually look like cloth. Just for the hell of it. Because I was sad when cloth died in Hollow Knight. But all the way back up to Firelink. Yeah, I'm going to go with his right hander for now. When I get into Sens, maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Maybe I'm supposed to go to Sens next. That's where we shall go then. Yeah, I did love that cloth basically, well, not rescues you, but deals with the traitor lord for you. Well, I wonder if I can sneak up on one of the fatties and backstab him. Where are they? at backstab and that one's gonna throw stuff at us there we go This one is just stuck. Scuff the animation a bit on that one. I got more poo. Too early. There. for the bonfire and then once we made it back to Firelink Shrine I keep forgetting the name for it once we make it back to Firelink Shrine that will be when I bounce I end the stream we should get you to play Dark Souls 1 at some point Bart But it'll be, it's a big change from like Hollow Knight and that, which we know you're good at. But I'd be interested to see what you make of Dark Souls 1, because I know you've played Dark Souls 3, and there's a lot different between them. So, we shall sit at this bonfire.
it is a lot slower. Like playing... Like Dark Souls 3 is a lot closer to Bloodborne. Like Bloodborne is really aggressive and it's easily the fastest playing one of a lot of them. But Dark Souls 3 seems like lightning speed compared to this. Granted, I am playing with a slower weapon, but even the quicker weapons aren't that fast in this game. It's all that it's like all measured pace. Yeah, Bloodborne is easily my favourite. The only one out of the series that I've not actually played yet is Demon's Souls, which I am looking forward to. But I've seen a bunch about it and I've seen a couple of let's plays of the original version of it. But I want to try and remaster myself, like, completely fresh. I've played bits of Sekiro, but my PS4 is currently dead, so I can't continue it. I might play Sekiro later on, like, once I sort myself out with a PS5. Yeah, my PS4 is currently... Like, I've taken it apart, I've put my own thermal paste and everything on it and reseated it to help it work. But it still sounds like a jet engine firing up. Not as bad as it was, but it's still pretty bad. And it still chugs when it gets to the more graphics intensive parts of games. You. Oh, I didn't even bring any with me. Ah, well, I'll just have to wear it through. Look, you guys. Yeah, I've, I've taken it apart completely, but I've cleaned the entire thing. Uh, read on thermal paste, I've checked everything's ventilated properly, I've even got one of those like extra ventilated stands for it but it's just dying like it is a like first version PS4 as well, it's Kelly's old one so it went through the mill and then Kelly got herself a PS4 Pro and I got that off her. She still made me pay for it. But value of the drinks. Yeah, I got some decent use out of it. And I've played it a fair bit. But it's on its way out. So I'm going to have to wait for a PS5 before playing any more of that stuff. I'm literally turning it on at the moment to like grab the PlayStation Plus games. But that's about all it will manage. I even booted up Hollow Knight on it to see how it would deal with something as simple as Hollow, Hollow Knight. And it chugged during the fight with the False Knight. 
But I made it to false night and then it started chugging so it's properly dying. So Oh yeah this bonfire's dead isn't it? We shall head to Let's head to Andre. Andre is a good stopping point. Me, I've scoured near and far. Where could she have gone, my lady? I don't believe you. With his weird old ball cut. And off we go. Oh yeah, I think Sen's Fortress is our next stop. Sen's Fortress and beyond. Ah, remember this place with these guys. Yeah, I even had a look at replacing the fan in it, but more effort than it's worth. And here's our by Andre. In fact, he should be able to upgrade my Zweihander again. So I'm sure he sells regular Titanite shards. Uh, my Xbox will do for now, but the Xbox I'm playing on is a 1X, so it's a decent one. Right. Reinforce, by hand up plus four. And I need three shards to get plus five. There we go, Zweihanda plus five. <laughs> Let's repair all of our shit while we're here. Don't get yourself neither of Oh, I can use this thing one-handed then. Well, I still get the strength bonus for two-handed, so that's what I'm going to do, but... Sen's Fortress is the way forwards. But well, that's where we're going next. But for now, this will be the end of the stream. But we went on a bit longer than normal because Greenery wasn't streaming today, so I think he'll probably be back tomorrow streaming the raid on Warcraft, and I will be back on Tuesday with more Subnautica. But well, I shall see you all on Tuesday, and we will find somebody to raid, shall we? Now prepare to hear all of my notifications come in as I open Chrome again. But yeah, we didn't do too bad. Like, I made it, what, took down Herlag, the spider lady. And took down Ceaseless Discharge as well. So, who do we know who is online? <gasps> My friend Fran is online. Let's go and surprise her. So, if you want to see some spooky stuff, 
my friend Fran is playing Phasmophobia. So let's go and surprise her, shall we? And thank you for watching, everybody. I shall see you all next time. And everybody be nice to Fran. She gets a bit spooked during games like this. She's great at stuff like uh, Rainbow Six and things like that, if any of you are interested, but Phasmophobia, she gets a bit spooky. Well, bye everybody.